generally have is we generally have is a function like this, alright? I'll, I'll use degrees, that's QEE. I'll go for 0, uh, 90, 180, 270, 360, okay? Now, the minute I see sine, and then we go uh, 1, 2, 3, I have to make this a bit larger, 4, and then on the bottom, I'll have uh, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, and, uh, sorry, and minus 4. Okay, next thing. So when I see the word sign, I straight away know I start in the middle every time. Zero, zero for sign. Is every all right? That's a learn offer, right? Your calculator will also tell you. Next thing I look up at, it goes three sine x. What does that mean? Sine usually, uh, so what happens to sine usually is it reaches up here. Okay, it reaches its maximum at ninety, and then what happens? It hits. It hits. Uh, you can check this in your calculator. You can put down. You can use the table function in your calculator if you really want, but uh, you can just go f of x equals uh, whatever, uh, sine x, okay? So you don't actually have to learn this off. Uh, you go to 0, 360, you can go up in steps of 30 or whatever, okay? And you'll get something like this, okay? And then we go all the way down to minus 1, and back up to 30. Now, the big difference here is the tree. Does everybody see the tree? Yeah. What does the tree do to that? Huh? It triples the height. So you're out here, and it triples how low you go. So you go all the way up to plus tree, and you all go all the way down to minus tree. Does that make sense? So we're not doing ranges, but we're going to do the range anyway. The range would be minus tree to tree. What's the amplitude? The amplitude is plus 3. The amplitude is whichever number comes in front. Okay? Now, what you might not be aware of, uh, I'll show you, we're going to do question 2, which is a bit awkward. I'll show you question 2 in a second, alright? Now, next thing. How many, when does it repeat itself? You're in the middle and you're on your way up. When does that happen next time? 360. You're in the middle and you're on your way up. So what does that mean about the periods? 360. 360. Exactly, alright? So, essentially, uh, what you need to know is any time it's just X on its own, when it's just X on its own, the, uh, the period is 360 degrees. The amplitude is what comes in front of it. So what do we reckon? Amplitude of 3, period of... 360, right? Is the best solution set of pi over 2? Is that the same as 360? Uh, it says 2 pi, surely. Yeah, 2 pi is the same. Uh, remember radians? Pi radians is 180 degrees. So therefore, 2 pi would be 360. Is that okay with you guys? We'll mix and match degrees and radians. It's like currency. I'm dealing in euro, but I should be giving the answer in dollars. It's just like a currency exchange, yes? Uh, it doesn't ask for like a specific radius of degrees, does it matter which one? It shouldn't. Now, next thing we're going to look at is part three. I'm going to leave part two alone for a second, alright? What do you think the amplitude of part three is? Four. four. So it has an amplitude of four. Now, the period of 360 degrees is only when it's angle x. This time it's angle 4x. So what does 4x mean? It gets there four times quicker. So 4x would equal 360. So the period this time would be, anybody? 90. 90. It means it repeats itself every 90 degrees, okay? Now, uh, the next one we're going to look at 
you there's a formula in your book, all right? And what it says is 2 pi or 360 degrees divided by whatever number comes in front of x. So what comes in front of x? 4. 2 pi over 4 is pi over 2. That's 90 degrees. 360 divided by 4? Also, 90 degrees. So you can do what Joe said. Just get 2 pi or 360 and divide by whatever comes in front of it. You okay with that? Alright. The next one I want to show you. This is a really important one. And you'll need to understand this. Okay, you ready? I'm going to draw a graph of y equals 2 cos x. Are you okay with that? So here's a graph of y equals 2 cos x. Happy enough with that? Now, here's a graph of y equals minus 2 cos x. Anybody care to make a prediction? What happens? What happens? Anything positive becomes negative. Anything negative becomes positive because you're multiplying it by minus. That's the only difference between two the only difference between two cos x. The only difference between two cos x and minus two cos x is basically it's reversed. It's a mirror image of each other. So the two of these, if you look at the graph. So a mirror image would be something like this. If I have a triangle here, then I'd reflect it as a triangle underneath. So these graphs are mirror images of each other. That's what happens when you multiply by minus. One of them is the mirror of the other one. Is that cool, you guys? Would everybody agree that the, uh, the amplitude is still 2? Amplitude is still 2. And what about the uh, period? So let's go back. The amplitude is 2. And because it's an x, what does that mean? The c value would be 1. So it's 2 pi over c, or 360 over c, which is 2 pi over 1, or 360 divided by 1, which is 360 degrees, or 2 pi. Is that cool, you guys? Now, what about the last one? A quarter cos 2x. What do we reckon for this one? What's the amplitude, lads? Huh? A quarter. Amplitude is uh, one quarter. The period, the C value is 2, so it's going to be 2 pi divided by 2, or 360 divided by 2. So what answer? 180, 180 or pi. I'm going to pause it there. Any questions uh, you want to ask? First of all, starts at the top. What does that mean? Sign or cos? Cos. Okay. Now, if it's cos 1x, what would the period be? If it was cos 1x, what would the period be? The period would be 360 or 2 pi. What is the period? Period is pi, isn't it? It's double pi over 2, so the period is pi. So what does that mean? The period pi equals... 2 pi over c. So what's the c value that makes that happen? 2. c equals 2. Because it, it gets there twice as quick. So we know straight away that that's actually a graph of y equals cos 2x. What about the amplitude? 1 and minus 1. Is that okay? So that's, just, that's the number 1 on the outside. So we're happy enough with that. Okay? Alright. Let's look at the next one. Uh, sine or cos? Why? Sine is zero. Okay. Huh? How long until we're in the middle and on our way up again? Four pi. Everybody see it? So the period is four pi and the range is so what's the amplitude? Huh? Two. two. So the range is minus two up to two. The range of the first one was uh, minus one up to to one. Right. So we have the range. That's the range done. Now what Joe said earlier was the period is equal to two pi divided by 
C. Move the C up, so you get 4 pi C equals 2 pi. What cancels both sides? Pi. What's left over then? 2 over 4 C equals a half. Are you happy with that? So what did we say earlier? It's a sine graph, didn't we? And what comes in front of the X? A half. What's the amplitude? Up to, down to, so. And there's your graph. You all right? Next one. Uh, part three. We start in the middle, so what does that mean? Sign. Now, we, got, we have two things to fill out. Got to fill out this part and this part. Are we okay with that? Okay. When does it repeat itself? Pi over 2. 2 pi over C equals pi over 2. So what cancels? The pi's cancel, don't they? Where does the C go? Bottom left to top right. 2 times uh, 2? 4. That makes sense. So it's a sign. 4x. It gets there 4 times quicker. It repeated at 90 degrees. 90 degrees is 4 times shorter than 360 degrees. That means it's, it's definitely a 4x. What about its amplitude up and down? 0.5 up and 0.5 down. So what does that mean? 0.5 there. Alright. I'm going to pause it. Uh, anybody have any questions for me? Something that they don't understand? Adam. Uh, cos or sine for part 4? Uh, why is it cos? Starts at the top, alright? So Adam has identified a cos x, okay? And now next thing Adam's got to do is he's got to fill out these two parts here. The, the blue parts, alright? So Adam, let's start off with the amplitude. How far up and how far down does it go? 4 to... So the range is minus 4 up to 4. So that is 4. Are you happy with that? Now what goes beside the x? So when does it repeat itself? When is it at the top and on its way down? At the top and on its way down. What about here? What's the distance between those two points? What? Pi. Period equals pi. And what's the formula for the period? Okay, and what's the C value that would make that happen? 2 pi divided by what gives you pi? Yeah, C value is? 4 cos 2x. Happy days. Move on. All right. Uh, seven. Okay. This is not too bad, actually, lads. All right. All right. It has an amplitude of three. What does that mean? Which one is it? It's got to be f x, doesn't it? Because it goes up three and. Down tree. Uh, what about this one here? Blue, which is GX, and the other one. The only one that's left is it HX. Done. Write the coordinates of A, B, C, and D in terms of pi. Woof. It's difficult. All right. Everybody agrees it's a cos function. Okay. Now, here's what we're going to write down. Oh, I like it. This is, this is, this is a good one, all right? So, would everybody... Let's start off with the... See the red line? Does everybody see the red line? Uh, HX. Does everybody see HX? What's the value for HX at A, B, and C? 
Can anybody tell me? What is its value? Its Y value. What's its Y value? Everybody agree its Y value is zero? Agreed? Okay. Next thing. What is HX? HX is, and that equals zero. Next thing. Uh, ASTC. Okay. Now, what values? What values is cos negative for? Or sorry, cos. Sorry, zero is a. Uh, zero is an unusual one. Okay. Because when does when is cos equal to zero? Can anybody tell me? Cos ninety is zero. Cos 270 is zero, isn't it? So they're the ones that you're looking for to be zero. Now, what happens if you cos inverse zero? What you get? Cos inverse zero, anybody? Just get 90 degrees, don't you? So your first answer would be 90 degrees. Where's your next answer? Where the adjacent doesn't exist. Do you remember what we said about the triangle? You put the triangle in such a position that the adjacent doesn't exist. It either goes straight up or straight down. So when does it go straight down? 2, 270. When's the next time you, when's the next time it goes straight up or straight down? Think about it. You start here, follow the green line like a clock, okay? Zero, 90. 90 straight up, that means the adjacent is. So, sorry, 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 sorry. Cos is. Adjacent zero. Yeah, sorry guys. Cos is uh, adjacent divided by hypotenuse. The hypotenuse always has a positive value. And if the adjacent is zero, what does that mean for the cos function? What's zero divided by anything? Zero. So cos is negative when it goes straight up or straight down. Okay. Keep going. When's the next time? 180 is okay, isn't it? Next one. Keep going. 360. No good. Next one. 400 and... 50. There's your first three answers. Divide them by three. And what do we get? First answer for A is? 30. B? 90. C? 150. Is that okay with you guys? So that's how many times that happens, okay? Now, the next answer is for D, isn't it? Which graph is D on? Well, uh, which is which letter? F of X, yeah? What's the D value, lads? Would you agree that its, it's Y value is zero? Because it's on the X axis, isn't it? So what we're basically saying is that f of x equals zero. You kill with that? What else do I write down? 3 cos 2x equals zero. Divide both sides by 3, what happens? Now, we did this earlier. When does, when does cos 2x equal zero? When does cos equal zero again, lads? Let's make a list. When it aims straight up or straight down. So we have 2x equals 90. <laughs> Lads, we all agree that cos has to either aim straight up or straight down. So it's 2x equals 90, 2x equals 270, 2x equals what was the next one? Alright, which one are we looking for? How many times has it already done this? So you're looking for when does the orange line become zero? There's once right there, isn't it? 
there's twice right there there's the third time and where's the fourth time the fourth time is D do you get what I'm saying so first time is 90 second time is 270 third time is 450 now we're at 450 I'm counting 450 540 go straight down 630 you happy with 630 so 2x equals 630 so what do we reckon the answer is then divide 630 by 2 D is 315 degrees if you were asked to convert 315 degrees into radians what would you do pi equals 180 would you agree with that how much would one degree be equal to anybody pi over 180 and how much would 315 be equal to pi over 180 multiply by 315 All right, I hopefully getting the chance not to speak in a second. That'd be lovely. All right, seven pi over four. Yeah. Uh, difficult question. To be fair to it. All right, gents. Now. All right, guys. First of all, I'm gonna do more than just the midline equation. I'm gonna I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the full thing. Okay. Now. See the way the maximum is a y value of 2. What's the minimum? A y value of minus 4. What's the middle of 2 and minus 4? Where's the middle? Add them together and divide by 2. And what do you get? y equals minus 1. This dotted black line. Would you agree that's the middle point? Agreed? So this is midline equation is y equals minus one we all good so far okay what's the period i'm at the bottom and i'm on my way up when is the next time that happens it's at four pi isn't it? so what's the period everybody agree the period is four pi now even better than that we're going to go one better than that lads we're going to create the equation all right, Matthew, cos or sine? Red one. All right, uh, so we would have said once or twice already, sine always starts in the middle, which will mean it will start on the middle line. So it can't be sine, it has to be cos, okay? Now, next thing we're going to determine, Matthew, is what is, we're going to determine two different positions here, okay? We're going to determine what this part is and what this part is here, okay? How high and low do you go above that baseline, the midline? Uh, you go plus three below it. And minus three below it. So what does that mean about this number here? Uh, three. Three. Everybody cool with that? Okay. Next thing we've got to figure out, Matthew, is this number here. And that has something to do with the period. So what is the period? Uh, four pi. And four pi equals two pi over c. The c value is what comes in front of the x. So what is the C value then? Yeah. Would everybody agree with a half x? Now, in every question we've done so far, what have we all what have we all noticed? That you go the same amount above the line and below. Look at every other question we did today. Just it, it's a, it's the same amount above the x-axis and the same amount below the x-axis on every single question we've done okay what you know is about this question oh sorry yeah what you know is about this question we're below the x-axis aren't we how far below the x-axis are we how far how far we pulled down the dotted black line how far we pulled down one. Because we're pulled down one, that means there's a minus one at the end. Is that okay? What I'd like you guys to try now is nine parts three and four. I want you to get the equation. So I want you to do uh, I want midline equation 
period and I want the actual equation as well. Yes? Uh, 